Today I want to spend a little bit of time talking about how you as an author can add content to the NAACP DeKalb website. We're currently using the WordPress model for inputting information, so you don't need a lot of programming skills. I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary for you as an author to put engaging articles on the website. Once you type in naacpdecab.org slash login, then this screen will appear. Once it appears, you can then put your name into the box. And as an author, you will have rights to adding information to the website. The screen is set up so that you are only allowed to do certain activity within the software. On the left-hand side, real quick, you'll have a post. And that's the primary thing that you want to concern yourself with. Adding posts, which is another way of saying adding content that our viewers can read. You can either add a new post or you can even take a look at all the posts that have already been put into the system. And in this particular case, it loads based upon what I have done thus far with my particular login. Plus, you can add a new post to the system. Not only can you add posts, but then sometimes you may want to add some video, uh, a photograph, or some other media to that particular post. You have the ability to add media to the library as well. In addition, you can have comments, or at least read the comments that people have said about your particular post if you want to. And uh, you can add an event if there's an activity coming up that you would like people to attend. Now, I'll go into a separate video on the events part of it. It's fairly easy as well, but I want to focus right now on you adding a post. So how do you do that? You want to go up to the post section, and you want to add a new post. And you'll get this blank screen. You recognize what's on the left-hand side in the middle. You'll see it says, Add Me a Title, and you have choices at the bottom. Either use Launch Beaver Builder, or use the standard editor is that we use the standard editor so that you have a little bit more control over basic text that you're adding to it so you first go up and add a title and then the content okay in the editor on the screen you'll see different settings that you are allowed to manipulate to help get the information into the system as you want at the top, you'll see a note that says, add the title. Put your mouse over there, and then you'll see a blue line around that add the title. If you move down to where you see the scrolling cursor, then you'll see that's the area where you can add your content to the system at that particular point. There are icons on the right here that will say if you wanted to, you could add an image if you wanted to, you could add a form if you needed to, and there's also the ability to add a link for a gallery of pictures, but we're not going to cover that in this section. So how do we get text into the post? The first thing you want to do is have a word processing package of some part, part like maybe uh, Microsoft Word or some other document that will allow you to at least either type the information that you want at first, review it, and once you're satisfied, you cut and copy it into the document, or you can do like I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go out to the website. Just pick out an article that I saw. And I am going to copy information from that site and put it into that Word document as well. Then I'm going to go back to my Word document. And I'm going to drop that information into the system. Now you want to pay attention to the fact that where they had spaces in between their paragraph, you want to look at your document so you get as close as you can to following that same uh, before you cut and copy it into the system. We will review it for all of the information we want. Now, one of the things that I want to do is I don't want to use this last part on here, check out the full list, because I'm just going to give them a teaser, enough for them to read the article and understand what's going on at the 2019 NAACP Image Awards. Once you're satisfied with that, you can then highlight this, copy it, and then go back to 
the website, paste that document into the article. Now, we don't still have a title, but I'm going to touch on that in just one minute. As you can see, as I go to each paragraph, you'll notice a blue line around it. Now, if you wanted to change some words or something like that, you highlight them in there, or if you wanted to make changes to them, you, you then get a text here that will allow you to turn that regular text into now a heading, heading two, heading three, heading four. It does all that work for you. I don't want any of those, so I'm going to go back to where we originally started. But anytime you highlight text within the document, you have the ability to shift it from a line left, center, a line right. You can bold that text. You can make it italics. And of course, you can add a link to it. How do you add a link to it? You highlight the text. It says, start chat with Bozeman. You click the link here, and they will say, well, where is the link? Uh, in this case, I'm going to say it's at naacp.org. Okay, hit return, and we now have a link. And the way you know it's a link is star chat with Bozeman's name is underlined, and it's blue now as opposed to the black text around it. So now we have that, but we haven't added the title yet. Let me go back out to the website so I can get the correct title that they used. And I'm going to copy it, bring it back into the document, and I am going to paste it in. Now, one of the good things about this particular software is that its style sheet converted, if you look very carefully at the text here, and go back and look at the headlines here, it converted this particular font to the accepted font for the page. So that's a good thing right there. It makes it a lot easier and a lot faster for you to get your information into the system. Now, one other thing I want to make note of. In the article that I copied from, they had a picture of the Black Panther on the throne. So I'd like to add a picture to the one we have as well. Once you put your cursor inside of blocks, it will give you a plus sign. And it says with that plus sign, let's add a block. And in that block, you have choices. You can do paragraphs, image, you can do headings and other things as well. But in our case, we're going to do an image. With the image now, you have choices. You can either upload that image, if you don't already have it up here, go to the library, or you can put the URL or where it's stored somewhere else on the website, and then it will automatically load it for us. In my case, I'm going to go to the media library. I've got two versions of this particular picture, and there's a reason why. The first picture was a little bit larger than I wanted for that particular screen, and the way I knew it, once you click on it, if you look on the right-hand side over there in the attachment details, it will tell you the size of that picture is 800 by 450, and it's about 79 kilobits. Now, I'm, I had a smaller version of it, and let's look at it. It's 576 by 324, and it's only 67 bits. The important thing to remember is that the smaller the picture size also helps to allow the post to load a lot faster to make it easier for your viewers to enjoy their time inside the NAACP DeKalb website. So here I'm going to load that picture in. And once I load it in, you get on the right hand side, it tells you a little bit about the picture. It tells you that size again, 576 by 324. Also, it gives you some choices at the bottom here that says that if I didn't like that size, I can resize it to 75%. I can resize it to 50%. I could resize it to 25%. We're going to go back to 100%. That's one way to reduce the size. Also, as I'm looking at the picture, you'll see a blue dot on the right and a blue dot on the bottom. I have a choice. I can take that blue dot on the right and shrink it, or I can take the blue dot on the bottom and shrink it. And if I don't like them, there's the all fail safe undo button at the top, which will take us back to where we were in terms of the size of the picture. 
or you can fill the screen. That's too wide for what we're doing. And you can even make it larger than that. I don't like either one. So once again, we're going to go back to our original because that fits the particular one. One other point around pictures. You have the option of writing a caption. Sometimes it's important to put the picture in perspective as to who it is, why they're there, and what's the purpose of the picture. In this case, we're going to put the Black Panther sits on his throne. And there you have your caption for the picture. Now I have a choice. I can highlight it and I can bold it. I can also make it italic somewhere else so I could add a link to that. So now you have your article. It's now been pasted into the post. And now you're through, right? Well, almost. So next thing you'll want to do is let everybody know about it. So the way you do it is you go to your right-hand side to the Publish button. And once you hit the Publish button, and we're going to have 222 just to add it. And we're going to publish this article right here. Now, the way you know it's published on the right-hand side, you get a chance to see where the address of the article, if it was not published, it would not have an address there. And it gives you more detail about it at the top as well. Let's take a look at what that post looks like. So we'll click on it and view post. And what do you see? Now you see the article as we put it in there. I put 222 at the end to let you know. It tells you the date of the article. It tells you who the publisher is. That is who the author is. And if somebody wanted to read this article and leave a comment, they could. But let's say I'm looking at that thing and I put 222 on the end and I really needed to have 223. Just that simple. Except for one thing, remember, anytime you make any changes to the document, you've got to go back and update it on the website. Okay? All the changes in the world won't work unless you update it on the website. And I typically will look for the saving and then the preview, and that lets me know that we're back to where we are. Now, you can make changes throughout the document, but once you hit update, if you go back and make any other changes, let's say we change Ryan's name to Robert. Okay? Now I've got to update again. So what happens if I have the last name and I want to be Robert Jones and I forget to update? Eh, I'm done. Okay, let me go look at some new posts. They say, are you sure? Because the changes that you have done have not been saved. Okay? So that's also another fail-safe way of you being able to get a post into the system. One other point to consider when you are adding posts to the website. If you look on your right-hand side, you will see, if you scroll down, you will see a post expirator. In other words, if you click this button that says enable post expiration, then you are able to go in here and put a date. For instance, the image awards are sometimes in April. And we want to make sure that we have that it stays up until the day. And that date is April the, let's say, the 15th. Once I put an expiration date in it, then it knows to take that particular article and take it off of the website so that we're not advertising, let's say, for a Christmas party that happened already. Or we're not advertising for some activity that may have a certain date on it that's real important to the process. So let's recap again. I've had a chance to take you through the post. If you want to add a post, you go add new. That then opens up a window. Once you add, open up that window, then you are able to then put a title in. You can either copy that title in from somewhere else or come up with your own title. This is a title. Once you do that, you need to add the text to the document. You use a standard editor rather than the Beaver. And then that will allow you to cut and paste from a word processor your article into this particular document as we did earlier. By pasting your article in, you have a chance to review it before you paste it in, make any kind of corrections that you want, and then you can make changes within the system.
every time there's a hard return, that is a block, you'll see a block around the words, which will allow you to either add another block in between. You can also change the setting of the system by highlighting. And once you do that, you can go up here and change it by changing the block type. You can move it right, center, or left. You can bold it or put other lines wherever you want to in that particular system. I will leave in the description the size of the maximum size of pictures that you will want to put in the document so that we maintain a certain style that has been set up within this system. We can either have the picture here at the top or let's say I wanted to add another picture. Let's add a picture right here. I'm going to insert an image and I'm going to use something from the media file. Why don't I use the logo for the NAACP? And I want it to be right. Now, at this particular point, if you look at the document, you'll see that that's pretty tight. Ooh, you can't read the words on the left-hand side, so I'm going to grab one of these blue points. Keep bringing the, the size of the picture down until it fits within the area that I want. And then I have a caption in ACP founded in 1909. So that's an overview of how you add a post to the documents. Once you have your document and all the information is in the document like you want it, and you are satisfied with it, you've made your updates, you know it's posted, then the next thing for you to do is go up in the right-hand corner and log out of your system. Once you log out of your system, you're back to the beginning, and voila, you have opened a post, put content in it, added media to it, saved it so the public can see it, and now you are ready for your next article.